Brain stroke, uh, we also call it as a brain attack, is a critical condition that affects at least 100 people in a lack of population. It is the highest burden and the number one cause for the disability and also causes significant amount of morbidity as well as mortality. Now, the various causes that cause stroke are innumerable, which are almost identical with that of the cardiac attack. That is why we call this condition as a brain attack, diabetes, hypertension, obesity, smoking, excessive alcoholism, sedentary work, lack of exercise, uh, sleep disorders and a variety of metabolic disorders can cause stroke. Unlike before, stroke treatment has evolved a lot in the last three decades. But unfortunately, lack of awareness is making lot of people not able to utilize the recent advances in the management. If there is a stroke, we should run to the nearest stroke center, wherein we can establish a diagnosis. Stroke can have three to four types. One is the blood supply can stop to the brain, it's called an ischemic stroke. There can be bleeding into the brain, it is called brain hemorrhage. There can be bleeding around the brain, it is called subarachnoid hemorrhage. The veins can get blocked, it is called a venous stroke. A diagnostic CT scan can establish what type of brain stroke or brain attack it is. And then on, the treatment can be initiated instantly and immediately. A variety of advancements have taken place in this area. And if one can reach the stroke center, preferably within the three hours, then we can adopt and apply all these recent advances so that we can re-establish the blood flow to the brain and the neurological deficit as well as the disability can recover completely and patient can recover better. In addition, immediate start of neuro rehabilitation can also help them and at Brains Super Speciality Hospital, a state of the art stroke center has been established wherein all the facilities like early diagnosis, a quick diagnosis, thrombolysis, thrombectomy, mechanical thrombectomy, cerebral angiography, carotid stenting, coiling and endovascular and surgical interventions can be created apart from the neurocritical care.